Hello, in this video we're gonna check this uh, Ford Fusion 2007 which basically is the same car as the Mercury Milan 2007 as well. Uh, in this uh, situation, this car, as soon as you turn on the engine, there is a knock around here, which basically is um, in the spark plugs area. So let's let's check the sound first. Based on how the sound it is, most likely we have an issue in the engine bearings. One of the things that we can also check as a first approach is the oil level. So let's let's check the level now. It seems that we don't have oil. So this is a, a big concern. Again, if the problem are the engine bearings, this engine is gonna need a major repair. So most likely it's what we're gonna do. Well, based on this, what I'm gonna do now is uh, drain all the oil, remove the, the oil pan and check if there is some kind of movement, a normal movement between the crankshaft and the pistons. If we find something like that, well, that means that uh, we need to do the major repair to the engine. Okay, I already removed the oil pan. We have here the crankshaft. And if I move it, check what happened. That's our problem. The engine bearings are really, really bad, so we need to replace them. Before I place the engine in this engine stand, I removed from this side of the crankshaft, the side that attached to the transmission, this seal. Now uh, I'm gonna disassemble the, the engine. Uh, previously I said that I removed the, the oil pan. I put it back because it was leaking a lot of oil. So I'm gonna start with that and then I will disassemble the engine. Now I am going to remove the coils and then uh, this lid. We have oil here that is a symptom of a bad seal that we need to check. Now we're gonna remove the crankshaft pulley and then this cover and we will have access to the time chain.
my sensor If you reach this point, I will recommend take tons of photos. Actually, I should have said this before, but take photos of how is the layout of this chain. Every single detail, because if for some reason we don't remember how to make the assembly, we're going to be in huge problems. I just removed the intake manifold. So next step is remove the, the time chain. I removed one of the camshafts, it was the exhaust valves camshaft and I'm, now I'm going to remove the intake valves camshaft and this is going to give me access to the main bolts to remove the, the engine head. Okay, now we will remove the engine head. I spin the engine, now I'm going to get rid of all what I have here that is uh, on my way.
Now we will inspect uh, each uh, engine bearing just to double check and verify our issue. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is our problem. We should mark the parts because every single component that we re that we will remove from the piece number one should be placed back in the piece number one. You cannot exchange them. So we, we're gonna make a mark in each of them. Here we have our engine bearings that we will inspect after. If by any chance we scratch the cylinder, it, it needs to be regrind. Now it's time to check our findings. I have here my main bearings and my connection rod bearings. Let's start with the main ones. In general, I check all of them and they, they look kind of normal. Nothing out of the word that they should have. I'm going to show really quick all of them. This thrust surface also looks fine, normal wear. Same with this one. And finally, this one. Now, 
let's go and check okay now let's go and check the connection bearings this is the set for my cylinder number four sorry for that we can see how there are some scratches in both this is a symptom of a poor lubrication between components but still even if this is bad is is not too bad compared to what we're gonna see in the cylinder number one the bearings from the connection rods in the cylinder number one we can see here a huge damage all of them are scratch even um, we can appreciate how the shape in general change as a reference this is a brand new um, spoon bearing you can see how the dimensions change because these parts are made of aluminum and the crankshaft is a steel so in every revolution basically um, this bearing was smashed by the, the crankshaft and deform it quite a lot as you guys can see same stuff for the thickness I hope you guys can see but um, this one is already really really thin which uh, basically that messed up the engine tolerances and that's why we have the noise now from here what to do how to proceed we have two options uh, one is replace all the bearings uh, usually this happen uh, changing both sets the the main bearings and the connection road bearings uh, the problem with this is we need to send the engine block, the crankshaft, and also the bearings to a machine shop to be adjusted in the correct tolerances. That takes time, obviously costs money. Uh, I will say that's an average, a set of bearings, it will be around 70, 80 bucks. Um, the machine shop, I will say maybe it will charge you around 100, 150, depends where, where you live and the time the main stuff i think will be the time um, fix an engine in this way it will take around three four weeks and the second way to go and i think the easy one it depends where you live um, some countries in uh, latin america this is uh, too expensive to do but in countries like the us and canada is cheaper and quicker and better uh, in general i will say swap um, a new engine no brand new, a used one, but a different one, which in this case is uh, what I discussed with the customer and is what is going to happen. Why? Because as I said, just in general, get the engine and the parts within the same, within the correct tolerances is going to be above $200, $250 plus labor and all the stuff that implies um, put back the engine. I found a good used engine in 200 bucks so it's, it's easier a word that it will take three four weeks it's gonna be done in just one weekend and um, is the way in which uh, in this particular case I'm going to proceed again it's up to you it depends the time that you have the resources that you may have at this moment and pretty much then um, these were my findings in this um, issue with this engine that was an engine knock i really hope this video helped you out to understand how to make a diagnosis of an engine knock all the work that implies reach these bearings and change them and if you like the video uh, click on like subscribe and thanks again